Welcome to the DIY rock wall and monkey bars video. I'm going to put up all the items I use in the video here on this list for you to reference. And I will go over the prices for all this if you stick around at the end. So first things first, went to the hardware store, picked up the hardware and then measured found studs in the wall with the kids. Measured and cut the 2x4s to length to build out the frame that I'm going to attach the plywood pieces to. I did this so that um, if I ever wanted to take it down, I would just have to plug a couple holes in the drywall to be done. I wouldn't be permanently destroying the wall with the rock wall. I did have to cut the plywood so that it was the proper height to fit from the ceiling to my trim. And I sanded all the edges as well just to get any splinters off. This was a finished plywood, but uh, it still had a little splinters. I set out the rock holds that I wanted, and then I circled all the bolt holes so I could drill them later. Here's a tip. When you take these off, take them off in the order that you drew the holes in, because the holes are all a little different. It's gonna be a real pain in the butt if you have to go back and match each one up. So just kind of lay them out the way you took them off. So I want to show you what uh, comes with the holds that I bought on Amazon. Um, so you get the holds, there was 25 of them, different colors, a couple different shapes. They seem to be really good quality. They're real sturdy. I think I used the similar ones on the kids' playground outside. Um, also, you get these weld nuts. Uh, they'll actually like turn themselves into the back of the wood when you screw in your Allen screw here with washer. So there's 50 of these, two for each hold. As it screws in, if the wood was in the middle, you would see the wood get squished as it screws in. Uh, the hardware looks like a really good quality too. It's not like chintzy hardware, so. Using a half inch drill bit, putting holes in where uh, I marked them on the plywood. The plywood is three quarter inch plywood with a one finish side, so it's smooth on the side that's gonna be facing out. All right, so I'm gonna get to drill it and get these holes made. Something else to note, I also marked off where the studs would be behind the board. So I knew not to uh, put any holds where the studs are in the wall. So you can kind of see the orange line on here showing where the studs are. All right, so I got my holes drilled. I sanded off the tops because it kind of splinters a little bit with such a big bit. I cleared it off with the shop vac just to get all the dust off and got it ready so it's ready to paint. So now I'm going to uh, use some masking tape, kind of make some mountain-esque lines at the bottom and then kind of a sky at the top. I'm gonna do a green bottom and then it's gonna be the natural wood in the middle and then it's gonna be a blue sky up the top. So I'm gonna get to that now and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I got my tape lines up. We've got the grass, mountain, sky. Um, and I picked out two colors for grass. Got this Ivy League color that I chose for the sky, cosmic dust. So now uh, I got my tarp out. I'm gonna tape, uh, go ahead and paint it up. Here's a little painting hack. Uh, I don't remember where I found this, but if you take your paint tray, put it in a plastic bag, pour your paint in, when you're done using it, you just pull the plastic bag off and throw it away, which is pretty nice. You don't have to clean your trays. Pulling off my tape. All right, so here I grab a screw, nut washer. Line up my holes on my hold. Washer on the screw. Drop it in the hole underneath. It's pretty simple. Just screw it on and it will meet up with the wood. And once the spikes touch the wood, it's set. 
Now you just take your Allen wrench, start tightening it here. Once it's on there, there's these holds are on there strong, so I like these. At this point, I have all my holds on the first sheet of wall. So I'm just setting it up. I put some floors underneath to get it propped up to the proper height, getting it against the studs. And then I started screwing into each of the studs. Uh, this went pretty smoothly at this point. Uh, it was holding itself up pretty well. So I didn't have any concerns at this point. I even hopped on the wall to be the first tester, made sure everything checked out. It looked good. And of course my son couldn't wait to get up too. So we climbed around and played on it for a little bit. And then the next weekend, we worked on the second side. So after getting the first half up on the wall, we realized that the holds were a little too spaced out for my three-year-old to climb. So I put some holds closer together and put some grab handles here so she could climb part of the wall as well. Um, after I set these holds in, I attached them all the same way, sanded, painted, just like I did. I won't show you that again, but I will show you here once we put it on the wall. So here if I've attached it, uh, something that did happen was the plywood wasn't quite as wide as the studs were. So I had a little stud showing and I just painted it the same as the wall and I think it looked, turned out looking nice. For the monkey bars, I bought these on Amazon. They're like a gym, or they're swing set handles uh, so I just cut out wood a little longer than it two by fours used it as a template marked the holes and then I uh, just pre-drilled them for the screws I'm gonna hang these on the studs in the basement okay, so I just got the second wall on and now uh, what I'm working on up here is the monkey bars to do this I found each stud um, or the boards they run this way uh, above the ceiling so I marked them off. I had just one extra stud, so I cut it up into four sections. I used two long screws to go into the stud, uh, and I think it's going to hold up well. I'm going to hang from it here in a little bit, see how it works. Feet up, we're good. All right. And it holds at least 180 pounds, so that's good. All right, so now I've got all four of my uh, monkey bars here. At least the brackets are up. And I just want to show you this real quick. I just put a two by four behind when I was attaching them to the studs. And this was just to give it an equal space all the way out. I didn't want them all the way against the wall because I didn't want you to be running into these holds when you were using the monkey bars. So I put them out about an inch and a half. So as promised, here is the cost breakdown of the project. I got plywood studs, paint, construction screws, painter's tape, and drop cloth from the hardware store that I used in the video. And from Amazon, I got the 25 piece rock climbing holds with the hardware, the 13 inch grab handles that I use for monkey bars, two of those, and the six foot trifold gym mat that you saw the kids using uh, for safety. So I hope this helps some of you with your projects. If anyone has any ideas or did it themselves, please comment below. I'd love to see them. And uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.